Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. The children of Israel had been freed from Egyptian bondage. God had led them through the Red Sea on dry land and had taken care of the Egyptian army who had been following. Not one of them was left. God was working miracle after miracle to provide for his people, the children of Israel. It comes a little later in their journey that they find themselves very hungry. And they come to Moses and said, we remember back in Egypt that we had plenty to eat. And yet it seems like we're going to die of hunger on this trip. The Bible says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Behold, I will rain bread from heaven for you. Then Moses and Aaron said to all the children of Israel, At evening you shall know that the Lord has brought you out of the land of Egypt. And in the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, for he hears you. Also Moses said, This shall be seen when the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening, and in the morning bread to the full, for the Lord hears you. Then Moses spoke to Aaron, Say to all the congregation of the children of Israel, Come near before the Lord, for he has heard. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, I have heard the complaints of the children of Israel. Speak to them, saying, At twilight you shall eat meat, and in the morning you shall be filled with bread, and you shall know that I am the Lord your God. Over and over in this passage, the Bible tells us that the Lord heard the children of Israel. When they cried out to the Lord, he did not turn a deaf ear, but he heard them and he responded. He answered their prayers. He gave them meat to eat. He gave them bread to eat. The Bible says to the full so that God could remind them that he was the one who they needed to depend on in their times of need. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 8, the Bible says, For your Father knows the things you have need of even before you ask Him. And yet then in verse 11 of that same chapter, Matthew 6, it says, The Lord teaches us to pray in this way. Give us this day our daily bread. He invites us to come in prayer and to ask Him for the things that we need. And God is able. I don't know what it is that your greatest need in life, but let me encourage you to turn to the one who can provide for every need in our life. It's God, the one who created you, the one who loves you so much that he sent his son Jesus to die and to be raised again, that if we believe in him and confess that we're sinners, he'll save us for all eternity. May you whisper that prayer and you can know that the Lord will hear your prayer. Father, thank you for knowing what we need. Thank you, Father, that when we cry out to you over and over again, you have told us that you hear our prayers. Lord, thank you that you're able to do something about the things we need, and may we depend upon you for our all. May that make a difference for the good in our day today. We ask in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.